how to use Google Colab. Now, what is Google Colab? Google Colab is short for Google Collaboratory, and it is a free cloud-based platform provided by Google that allows you to write and execute Python code in a notebook-like environment. The best thing about Google Colab is that you have access to free GPUs, you can share your code, and other people can visit and edit your code. You can save your code, and you can work from anywhere you want. So you can work from your tablet, desktop, laptop, phone, and as long as you have a Google account, you can save all of your code in there. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is sign into Google account. And then after you've done that, open up Google Collab Tree, and, and the link for that is collab.research.google.com and you'll be greeted with this window right here. Now, everything is made through notebooks, and this is really the core of Google Colab. The way that we're gonna get started is by creating a new notebook. And here we go. As soon as I opened up the new notebook, we can start coding immediately. Now, before I do that, I want you to rename this notebook. Now, as soon as you rename this notebook, Google is going to save it. So let me just uh, let me just type that in. Now here you have cells that contain code or text. You can add new cells using the plus code and plus text buttons or by using keyboard shortcuts such as CTRL plus M B for a new code cell or CTRL plus M M for a new text cell. So let me add some text real quick. And although it says text, it is used for a lot more than just text. You can upload images here, change fonts, headings, emojis, lists, and so on. You can even embed links. I'll just upload an image. And this is how it would look like with the image. Now, if you don't want this, you can just... Um, do that here we have the table of contents which is used to organize your code better and for other people to understand your code here we have find and replace variables and files and once you have this you can use the shortcut ctrl mb to open up another code so what we can also do is invite people so you can click here to share anyone with the link this is just um A basic Google Drive tab and let's say that you have a huge code you can click on the code go here to add a comment and from here you can either tag people and tell them what this code means what needs to be added to the code and now the other really cool thing that's also very convenient with Google Collab is that all of the libraries well all the major libraries at least are already pre-installed here although if you do want to install some libraries you install them like this. Now, as you can see, this is already installed, but if you want to install some other ones, do it like that. And if you want to import You can just do that now to quickly delete a code there is a shortcut for that and that is ctrl m delete and there you go now if you're dealing with huge code and it's really taking a load on your cpu you do have a hardware acceleration box that you can check so you can do that by going into runtime change runtime type and from here you can select either cpu gpu or tpu if you want access to their cloud GPUs, you can purchase additional compute units. This is going to cost you $10 per month. And if you're running extremely large code, you can just uh, check TPU. TPUs are basically just like GPUs, but they're specifically built just for machine learning. Another thing that I want to show you is that you can upload assets as in certain audio files or image files. If you go down here and you can import them using this.
So we can rename this file into this. And now the final thing that I want to show you guys is if we go to file here, well, let me just type in something real quick. So if we go to file here, we can save a copy in the drive. And what this is going to do is going to create a copy, but this is not going to be connected. As you can see, if we go here, we can see that it is connected to the Google engine and here is just local. So it's on your, um, it's on your device. And that's how to use Google Colab. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.